Good morning, Year 7. Today we're going to be doing applying algebra, but we have a few prior learning questions to do first. And this will be a revision of stuff from some of them quite early on in the topic. So question one, this is from our very first lesson in algebra. We want to write an expression for the product. Product means that we're timesing things of A and B. So we have A and B times together. Now we don't like to write time signs, we just put them next to each other, A, B, that's the product of A and B. And then it says to take away nine, so minus nine. Question two, if A is equal to four and Y is equal to nine, find the value of three X plus four Y over eight. So we need two lines of working out for this question. The first line is that we're going to replace the x with 4 and the y with 9. So that will be 3x will be 3 times 4 plus 4 times y, which is 9, over 8. The second line is that we're going to put that in our calculator to find out what it equals. So we have 3 times 4 plus 4 times 9 over 8, and we get the answer, which is 6. Question three, this is a more recent thing, expanding our brackets. So to do this, we times the 5G that's out the front by each thing inside the bracket. So 5G times 3G, five times three is 15. A G times another G will make a G squared because there's two of them. Then we have a minus sign, 5G times minus two H. Five times two is 10. And then we have the G and the H sitting afterwards. Okay, time for our new work, applying algebra. So there's not any new skills here today. We're going to just be doing some slightly more practical questions. Many different situations can be modeled with algebraic expressions. To apply an expression, the pronumeral should be clearly defined, okay? We have to say what letters we're going to be using in our question. Then we can use known values. The known values can be substituted in for the pro numerals. Okay, what does that mean? Let's have a look at these questions. Question number one. The perimeter of a rectangle is found with the expression 2L plus 2B where L is the length and B is the breadth. Find the perimeter of the rectangle if L is equal to four and B is equal to seven. This is a substitution question. I'm going to substitute into this expression, replacing the L and the B with the numbers that I've been given. So two L would become two times four because L was four and because they were next to each other, I need to put the time sign in. Then I want to plus 2b, which will be 2 times 7. Then we can put that in our calculator and get the answer, which is 22. So the perimeter of that rectangle would be 22. Part b, find the perimeter of the rectangle again. This time the breadth is 8 and the height is 3. Okay, so breadth and height weren't really the things they that L and B we're using in the last one, but it doesn't really matter what we call them as long as we know what the sides of our rectangle are. So I'm gonna call the eight the L and the three is going to be the B. Let's put them into the same expression up here as before, two L plus two B. So two L is going to be two times eight. Then plus two B is gonna be two times three. And then we calculate that and guess what? The perimeter is 22 again. This time, I know that this is measured in centimeters, so I'm going to include the units in my answer. Question two, write an expression for each of the following. So A says the total cost in dollars of 10 bottles if each bottle costs X dollars. So if I had one bottle, it would cost X. If I had two bottles, it's gonna be two X. But because I have 10 bottles, 
it's going to be 10x. You could even put a dollar sign on that, but I won't do that because that will make it look even a bit more confusing. Question B, the total cost in dollars of hiring a plumber for N hours if the plumber charges a $30 call out fee plus $60 per hour. So it's going to cost $30 to get the plumber to your house before they do any work. Then it's going to cost you $60 for every hour of work that they do and they're doing N hours of work. So we're going to times that by N. So $30 call out plus $60 for the N hours of work that they're going to do. Question C, a plumber charges a $60 call out fee plus $50 per hour. Use an expression to find how much an eight hour job would cost. Okay, so this has got an extra step in it, but the first thing we need to do is write down our expression, which is very similar to what we did in B. For our plumber, he charges $60 for a call out plus $50 for every hour, and we'll call N the number of hours again. Okay, the extra part is that we also know that N is going to be equal to eight because we're told that they're doing an eight hour job. So I'm going to sub N equals, N, uh, N equals eight into that expression, which would be 60 plus 50 times eight. And when you calculate that, you work out that the plumber will charge $460. Okay, so that leads us to exercise 12.